How is it going, guys? We're back again. Finally, I know it's been like a month or something. I don't keep track of the dates anymore. Today, we are back with Ken Carson tutorial. I know Lone is supposed to drop in like two days or whatever. Uh, I like Ken Carson more, and he's like more like Goomba, Kawaii. Chord progression, it's in F minor. So we go one, three, four, five. That is the chord progression, one, three, four, five. You guys could try it out. Uh, it works really well. You just got to be sure to add these little like melody filler notes. If you don't add these notes, your beats will suck. Uh, just make sure that you are putting your chord, you make a full chord like this, right? A G sharp major chord, put that C up an octave or else you won't get Ken Carson Goomba. After that, I did another lead from Serum. That last one was a synth from Serum. This lead kind of sounds like a synth guitar. If you guys need some Serum presets, my kit has some free presets on here. You got arps, bass, bells, chords, flutes, keys, leads, pads, plucks, synths, the whole thing. You can't complain that you have no sounds because I also have one shots in here, okay? So you got the whole thing. You even got the scales, okay? If you're dumb, you don't know how scales work, you don't know the scales, you got- Hey guys, please. Please share the love and go to Spotify and listen to my music or SoundCloud. I'm on SoundCloud. I'm on Spotify. Please. It's just my name. It's so simple. Like, just look up my name on Spotify and just listen to my music. It's like that easy. Uh, that's it. Bye-bye. This is what this lead sounds like. Oh, shit. I never even showed you guys what the last one sounds like. This is what it sounds like. Now I can show you what the lead sounds like. After that, I wanted something that kind of goes with the tempo of the beat. Basically, it just goes downwards, and then it kind of goes up, but then it goes f all the way back down. Going down and then back up and then down to this. The way that I did it, it just works so well. I don't know why, but it just does. The best way to find a lead that has the emotion that you're looking for, like something creepy and like vampy, is just play it by ear. Find a note that works well to start it off. Play it by ear from there. It takes a minute. It takes longer than, you know, knowing music theory, but fuck that. We're not into that. Oh, let me go ahead and show you guys. I did the same thing for this. Goes like almost the same pattern, but it's just this last one is flopped. The G sharps on the other side, but it's a arp. It's a, like a little plucky bouncy sound, but I made it a lot faster than that last sound. So this is what it sounds like. In the mixer channel, I added this fruity panomatic. Click the pan button and then, you know, set this to whatever you want. This little red line is where it's playing in your channels, in your left and right channels. So that'll make your sound go back and forth to the left and right. It just works for giving more space to your sounds and I don't know, it's just a cool thing to do. After that, we're on to the drums. Really simple from here. You guys know Ken Carson drums are nothing crazy, right? So first thing you got is your clap. After that, you got the Beano hat. Uh, I found that holding off on the hi-hats a little bit works better, in my opinion. It gives you a lot more space to do other stuff with percussion. As I was saying, percussion, we added a snare. After that, we have... I'm just going to skip those and go to the triangle. You guys know what a triangle sounds like. After that, I added a bell. Don't ask why, it just sounds good. And finally, our 808, this is the Vamp 808. This is in my kit. If you guys want to use this 808, click 808 to go all the way down until you find Vamp 808. And the way that I get mine to sound good, go to the channel for it, offset it just a little bit because it has a weird kick at the start, and set this envelope, turn all this down, turn the attack just barely up, and turn the hold all the way up. That's how I get my, my Vamp 808 to sound how it does. This is what it sounds like. And with these kind of Ken Carson beats like I Need You and Caltech, they have uh, the 808 just play like just the F and then just the A sharp, right? It, it It's not too crazy. They make it really simple and it works so well. The next thing they do is they add this, right? So you think it's the 808 hitting? No, it's a kick. But they just put a filter on it. It's brilliant. Puts a filter on it and then cuts the cutoff frequencies. The kick is like really bassy and it has no high end. And it just punches that 808 so hard in the... This is what it sounds like. So this is what all the drums sound like together.
And then I added a little Zay 808 just for, you know, to ease some of the tension. Uh, and this is what it sounds like. Nothing crazy. You guys already know what a Zay sounds like. You've heard it in every song ever. Uh, and actually, that's it. Wow. Now that I think about it, this is a lot faster than I thought. I added some effects. So this is like some bats chirping just because I'm a vamp. This. That's my tag, if you guys don't know. My tag. You guys always ask how to make my tag or how do I do it. Uh, it's really simple. Just you click this plus in the channel rack, find speech, type in whatever you want. We could type in balls take over. Change the voice to like, uh, we'll do robotoid. Balls take over. And then we go to monotone and then we go to whispered. Balls take over. Boom. That's how you do it. So simple. So cool. And then you can just chop it up, put some effects on it, whatever you want to do. That's what I did with mine here. That's pretty much it, though. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, what do you guys think about Ken Carson? I know Destroy Lonely is supposed to drop, like I said. Tell me what you guys think about that album, if it already dropped. I don't know when I'm going to post this. Probably in fucking, like, a month, because I'm just slow as shit. Uh, that's pretty much it, though. I'll see you guys next time. I love you.